So you want to upgrade the firmware of your N340 PLC. The hardest part about this is finding the firmware on your computer. So let's pretend that I don't have it. We go to our website, schneider-electric.com, products and services, automation and control, the product offer. We go down to our PLCs. I'll select our PACs for process automation controllers. And we'll select the Modicon M340 because we like it so much. We scroll down, standard environment. Pick the particular processor. I've got a 2020 processor which has Modbus, Ethernet, and a USB port. I am going to select the downloads and documents. I will scroll down to the firmware and I will select the new firmware. I've already downloaded this, so we're done here. Now, when I select Unity Loader, I'm going to select the firmware. And then I'm going to connect via USB. You notice down at the bottom right I've got my USB connected and I simply say connect. Now I've got the red arrow with the X through it. That means I've got an Ethernet module firmware that I want to download. That's bad. So let's select the processor firmware. So we'll go down through the firmware. So I've got my M340 folder. I've got firmware P34. 2.5 is the latest processor modules firmware 2020 and select it. Notice now I've got my green arrow. 2.5 is going to go in 2.2. So now I simply hit transfer. Before transferring, please make sure that we're connecting the right PC. Also, you don't want your PC to go into hibernate mode, and you certainly do not want the PLC to lose its power. This is about a two-minute process, and when we get done, I will be back. So we're about done. As I said, uh, the Unity Loader is a separate utility from Unity Pro. It comes on a separate DVD. It is free. It came in the package with your Unity Pro. So we're waiting for the PLC to hit ready mode and as soon as it does we're going to close the screen and we're going to uh, see that the firmware has been upgraded and we will be done. And we see that the firmware was upgraded successfully. We close the screen and you notice that the firmware 2.5 is the firmware that's in the processor. So we can start the PLC. Now you can try this anytime at home.